Hello everyone, in this video I am going to share with you why your shrimps are not breeding. I am going to share 7 of the most common reasons that shrimps don't breed. So without further ado, let's get started. The first most common reason is bad water quality. I have talked about it a lot in my channel and if you are at least a bit experienced in shrimp keeping, you know how much important it is to achieve the correct water parameters for breeding shrimps. Now by the correct water parameters, I mean the ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, etc. should be as low as possible in the water because they are very very harmful for your shrimps. Also, each species of shrimps require a specific range of pH, KH, TDS, etc. So before even planning on breeding shrimps, first research what type of shrimp you are trying to have. If you are going to have cherry shrimps, then look for what type of water parameters they prefer what type of pH, TDS, GHKH they need and after you have researched try to achieve that environment try to achieve that ideal water parameter range because if you can keep the shrimps in the ideal water parameter range then most of your problems will go away in the long run and it's and actually it is the crucial point to uh, successfully beat shrimps okay that's what sets apart a amateur shrimp breeder from an experienced shrimp breeder. So you'll always have to think about the water, the water parameters. Also, being consistent here is extremely important. If your water temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit today and 80 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow, then there is no consistency and it will affect your shrimps. Inconsistency makes the shrimp very very stressed and they can also die. So try to be consistent with the water parameters even if the water parameters is off by a um, point or two then it will not be the end of the world but try to be consistent with the water parameters because consistency will keep your shrimps happy and safe the next thing is low temperature now the breeding rate and temperature has a correlation between them two if your temperature is low then the breeding rate will go slower but the offspring quality will come off much better. On the other hand if the temperature is high then the breeding rate will get quicker but the offspring quality will get lower. So there is a reverse proportion between these two parameters so the ideal thing to do is to strike the ideal temperature balance and the breeding rate. For myself I have seen that the shrimps breed successfully and the offspring quality gets good in the temperature range between 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will um, so I will recommend you to uh, try breeding between this temperature range. Of course you can experiment with other temperature ranges too but for myself I have seen that uh, in case of cherry shrimps they breed most in 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit range. The next mistake I often see is not starting with a group of shrimps. Many people start keeping only a couple of shrimps but if you keep only one or two shrimps then you just can't expect them to breed because if you are just starting out with two shrimps then what are the chances of both of them being male or both of them being female right? That's why we need to start with a group of shrimps to ensure that there is a good ratio of male and female in the group so the breeding can start automatically and naturally. I always recommend to start at least with 10 shrimps, better you can start with 15 shrimps or 20 shrimps it will be better but start with at least 10 shrimps, it will ensure that there is a good ratio of male and female so that if all the other parameters are right and the environment is right, the breeding can start naturally and automatically. The next most common reason for your shrimps not breeding is the female shrimps are not breeding enough nutrition. When the female shrimps get gravid or they bear eggs then they need a lot more protein than usual so they need much more nutrition, minerals and protein. For that we will have to give them a good proper shrimp food. In my channel I have always recommended to give shrimp Spectre AE because I love that food as it comes in a powdered form it is the ideal food for baby shrimps too. So if you can try to feed your shrimps Spectre AE I think your shrimps will love that. But if you don't have that option, some other great options can be Shrimp Dinner, Shrimp King Mineral etc. Just research and find out a good food option for your shrimps and preferably a food that is more rich in protein because it will help the gravy shrimps. The next reason of your shrimps not breeding can be predators. 
I have always said that tank mates are not good for keeping with shrimps because as shrimps are very small, most of the fishes can hunt them down and can eat them, especially the baby shrimps. Even I have seen very small fishes like uh, neon tetra or rasbora etc they are going after the baby shrimps so the baby shrimps are actually not safe from any kind of fish that's why if you are very serious about breeding and if you want to breed shrimps professionally then i'll always recommend to breed your shrimps in a separate tank and keep your shrimps in a separate tank that is only shrimp exclusive tank so you shouldn't keep any other fish or tank meat there now you can always keep a couple of snails like i love to keep malaysian droplets in, in my tank because they um they provide a good uh, ecological balance with the shrimps and they are actually very good for the tank you can also keep nerite snails they help to clean algae in the tank and these kind of snails are good but don't keep assassin snails because assassin snails can go after the baby shrimp so it is not recommended so do you do research and see what kind of snails you want to keep in that uh, with your shrimps if you want to but uh, keeping snails it it is not a must the thing is if you want to keep other tank mates with your shrimps make sure that they are safe for your shrimps and your baby shrimps and if you must have to keep tank mates then i will always recommend to keep lots of plants and moss in the tank because plants and moss provide a much uh, better hiding place for the shrimps so in the case they are hunted down by any other fish the shrimps can hide inside the plants and moss and save themselves also plants and moss are very good for the health of the shrimps because the leaves the plants moss they acclimate food uh, the acclimate food particles grow biofilm algae over them which is a very good food source for the shrimps also the shrimps love to graze on them all day long so keeping as much moss and plants as you can is very good for the shrimps as well as the shrimp babies it will also help with your shrimp breeding too the next thing is not keeping indian almond leaf or chola wood in the tank now indian almond leaf is actually very very beneficial for shrimps it is a type of leaf that we get from Indian almond tree. The good thing about this leaf is as you keep it in the tank, it slowly starts to um, release tannin in the tank. Tannin lowers the pH in the water and it creates a kind of softer water which the shrimps absolutely love. Also, Indian almond leaf grows biofilm over it so the shrimps can enjoy that biofilm and it can uh, eat the biofilm all day long and the last thing is the indian almond leaves as time passes by they start to deteriorate and the leaf particles are an excellent natural food source for the shrimps that's why i always recommend to keep indian almond leaves in the tank and it they don't cost much and especially if you have any indian almond leaf trees in the in your neighborhood then you can get them for free you don't have to uh, pay, pay anything but if you don't have any tree around your neighborhood you can just pay a couple of bucks and get them from amazon or any other online fish store so it will be a very good investment for your shrimps and also you can keep chola wood chola wood uh, pretty much does the same it has lots of uh, cronies and holes over its surface so the shrimps can hide inside the chola wood and it acts as a pretty good hiding space for the shrimps it also um, enhances the natural appearance of your tank and makes your shrimp tank look much more cooler also chola wood grows algae and biofilm over its surface the shrimps uh, love to eat those things so keeping indian almond leaf or chola wood will be very very beneficial for breeding your shrimps and i will recommend you to keep at least any of the two the next mistake i often see is going crazy with water changes i know water changes is very important for keeping shrimps and fishes in a tank but going crazy with it will only do you bad rather than any good because if you do too much water changes then the water parameters can change and it can affect the shrimps and it can make them stressed also when you do too much water changes then the water parameters don't get stable they change rapidly and it can actually affect your shrimps that's why i like to change um, 20 to 25 percent water weekly in my shrimp tank if you can you can stretch it to about um, two or three water changes per month but no, don't do it any more than that and don't do it any less than that the ideal number according to my 
experience is two to three times per month and in each water change you can change up to 25 to 30 percent water so that will be good don't do much than that because because um changing water too much can actually harm your shrimps so these are the most common reasons i have seen uh, many shrimp keepers make and these are the reasons for your shrimps not breeding now if you want to know more about shrimp breeding then fortunately i have a video on that where i have dived into more details in every aspect of shrimp breeding so that you can know every ins and outs of breeding shrimps if you want to see that video the video will pop out anywhere in the screen right now so click there and watch the video also i will put the link of the video in the description so you can watch that video take care bye